Hi there, my name is Ernesto Cisneros, and I'm here today because I wanted to do a little something for the Asian and Pacific American Heritage Month. Uh, I know I'm not Asian, but I am anti-racist, and I wanted to kind of help showcase a little bit of the contributions that Asians have made um, into the literature world. Um, one of the stories, that the one I want to read a little excerpt of, is from Kelly Yang's uh, The Front Desk. The reason I chose this book is because it reminded me so much of my own family growing up. Um, I think you'll see what I mean. Uh, so I'm going to read a little excerpt, and uh, then I'll tell you a little bit about why it connects to me. Chapter 1. My parents told me that America would be this amazing place where we could live in a house with a dog, do whatever we want, and eat hamburgers till we were red in the face. So far, the only part of that we've achieved is the hamburger part. But I was still holding out hope, and the hamburgers here are pretty good. The most incredible burger I've ever had was at the Houston Space Center last summer. We weren't planning on eating there. Everybody knows museum food is 50,000 times more expensive than outside food. But one whiff of the sizzling bacon at, as we passed the cafe and my knees wobbled. My parents must have heard the howls in my stomach. Because the next thing I knew, my mother was rearranging through her purse for coins. We only had enough money for one hamburger, so we had to share. But man, what a burger. It was a mile high with real bacon and mayonnaise and pickles. My mom likes to tease that I devoured the whole thing in one gulp, leaving the two of them with only a couple of crumbs. I like to think I gave them more than that. And so growing up, you know, we didn't, being a person of color, I really connected with this. I know that my... Just like her parents, my parents made a lot of sacrifices and they would do anything they could for us. And uh, this brought back just so many memories of uh, my mom feeding us and not quite having enough for herself and uh, acting like she wasn't hungry, like she didn't want any of, any, any of the food. Um, I think that you'll thoroughly enjoy her book. I highly, highly recommend it. And I think that you too will find parts that you connect with because at the end of the day, there's, we all have more similarities than we do differences. Thank you. Happy readings.